Hello everybody and welcome back to Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3. So last episode we spent reorganizing the southern section of our front. Uh, it's winter. The Soviets did defend the side on the winter offensive action. But frankly I don't see that coming to anything considering how hideous their position is right now. I mean for the Soviet Union these look like thin lines to me. Like, like three divisions on each province. For the Soviet Union... That's not much, and there, there's actually ample opportunity for a nice little encirclement right here. And they've got these huge... The, the, you know, I'm controlling the middle, yes. But the Finns have the north, and the other allies, mainly Bulgaria, has the south. And boy, did they do a damn good job. Would you look at that? It's, a, it's an even front. Hopefully they can hold it. It's an even front, and they're doing a great job down there. Great job. We, we're doing... A, you can see a lot of troop movement because there's a lot of reorganization happening. Uh, these, ch these these Czech units, I wouldn't call them second rate, but I wouldn't call them first rate troops either. So let's attach them to not the Ninth Army. That's not the one I was looking for. No, not that one either. What's this one called? Oh, that one's full. That's why. I'll say I can't do with that one because it's full. All right, so not this one. That one's full too. Interesting. Hmm. Let's see. All right, so we need to keep reorganizing. That's what we need to do right now. You guys pull you off. Well, let's see. This guy, well, he's got troops down here too. So you here, you here. Where's your... This unit. Needs to get moved here. You're gonna get detached, reattached to this first core. Nope, not that one. My bad. Um, second core? No, too far away. Which one is it? Ninth core? The ninth core. There we go. Attached to the ninth core. The ninth core can actually move right there. Pull you off. Off the line. Well, you know who's going to come up here? Let's see these guys. Move right up here. Right there. We're going to have to play on a decent speed. And I hate I hate the reorganization thing. Well, I don't hate it. I kind of like it, but... I just wish it was a little bit easier. And the game's been a little bit chuggy for me, but at least it's not crashing. That's what I got to look forward to. It's not freaking crashing. Alright, so these are the buster units. These are light infantry. We also got regular infantry in there. Alright, you're holding the section of line I want to hold a little thicker. This guy, let's see. Um, you... Oh, you're moving up there. Let's see, moving. It's this one. It's moving down there, that's fine. To Let's see, we can pull you off the line. You pull you off the line, and you stay. And then you would move over here to correctly hold that section of of, of line the way I like it. Let's move you up here. We need two here, one there, and two there. And well, we could do two. He's only got four total, so we could always do. Two and two. Two there. Two there. Like that. Trying to uh, multitask a little bit here, although I'm terrible at multitasking. I can single task. I can single task all day. Just gonna try to plow through the winter. Italy conquered Yemen. Was that a thing? Apparently it was. I forgot. I didn't think they could cross right there. Go Italy! Man, Italy really wrecked. Africa, didn't it? Man. I'm honestly completely befuddled that my allies aren't total incompetence. So you can go down. Yeah, some of it into officers and the rest into research. I'll oh! Would you look at that? We're wasting. We can do more research. So it's December of 41, so we can go through and grab 42 tech right now. Everything supply-related. Super important. 
So, manpower down, leadership up. Manpower up, leadership down. Encryption. Yes, take that. Uh, giant infrastructure projects. We haven't even using some of these. I mean, is it worth it? I don't think so. Those grab. Forgot about these. Somebody did point that out, and I did forget about those. So I need the 42 tech. Expe oh, radios are super useful. Uh, we are ahead on... Nope, we're not ahead. Eh, radar for, for ships. Maybe leave that off. Not super important. All right, secret. Got everything on there we want taken care of. 42 for all the weapons for my infantry. African army recruitment. Maybe not do that one. Proof security units, yes. Truck and prime mover, yes. Anything already related, yes. I know, although I think it's already on here. Airborne mixed support, that'll be useful for my airborne divisions if I ever get to use them. Extra wide tracks. All this tank stuff on the 42, definitely going to be useful. Armored cars. Wet ammo storage, anti-personnel devices, tank optics. Definitely going to grab all of the armor, because they're fighting the Soviet armor. Jesus, they got high penetration. So, oof. Definitely want that armor. The Americans, they're going to be rough later on. I can tell you that. Twin engine, bomb load. Dam buster bomb. Ah, strategic attack, good. Twin engine bomb bay. Specialize anti-air ammunition. So that lowers everybody's speed in defense greatly, but increases their attack, their heart attack. I don't know how I feel about that. So this is going to greatly reduce our speed, but increase our attack. I think that's worth it. I think it is. I mean, our speed's really high right now. Folding wings, air cooling, fuel consumption range down, but speed and defense up. Yeah. Critical bubble cockpit. IFF transponder. It's all good stuff. Jet tech, it's already on there. Submarine tech, yes. This stuff, could, we're going we're to skip all that stuff. I mean, all this is mostly on there still. Strategic. A lot of this stuff can get on. Oh, yeah. I feel like we're adding a lot of stuff on here, and we are. But we have, I mean, we have a ton of research right now. And I mean, a lot going into uh, even espionage right now, just so I can kind of... Verwolf? Kone used for one of all of the World War II Eastern Front military headquarters located in a pine forest. Build it. Why not? Hitler gets pissed if you don't. Infantry engineer unit training? Ah, that's 43 tech. Alrighty. So in... Well, let's see. Production. I know we're going to finish up a lot of these and a lot of these soon. So this is the end of December. A lot of these are two, just two levels, but some of them are one levels. So that's going to help out a lot. So where is... So this is the... Well, are any of these guys... Oh, okay, they are heading into the right the right areas. Organizing the front, and what we're going to do is... I, I really like the idea of surrounding Moscow and crushing all of the... You know, scoot out right along this... We're going to follow the river, because what, I, what I'm what loving about the rivers in the Soviet Union is they, especially in black ice... Oh, boy, do they make for good defensive terrain. Really good defensive terrain. We already got a lot of tanks in this region, so the tanks don't need to move so much. But the infantry need to move around a lot. That's why I'm kind of just kind of like doing some movements, waiting on to see, waiting to see what happens, doing some movements, waiting to see what happens. I mean, Italy's doing great down here fighting basically the British, really. But you know what's funny? Bulgaria is fighting in India. Well, technically that's Pakistan, I think. Well, no, we're not quite in that area yet. What is this? Iran? 
They're fighting in Iran. I'm gonna go with Iran. Just kind of pi passing the time now. The winner is calm. Reorganizing the front, making sure everybody's where they're supposed to be. So yeah, like, these, in like, entire division- well, except for right there. What we can always do is just tell them to redeploy everybody right there. Move them all up. Because we're going to be needed there anyway, so... Might as well get those units moving. Active sonar. Escort efficiency, that's not anything big for me. I got right up to that 108%, which, I, which is where I wanted it. Covered. Uh, well, almost covered. It's a different, little different spot on the line, but I like it. And now let's see, these guys, this is a, in, okay, so what we're gonna do is, two of you guys are gonna head here, one is gonna head there. And I think the other ones are right here. So minus you. So we did this one, this one, and this one. Move up like that. That should be the that should be the ticket right there. So these infantry units are gonna hold the line. I mean it's I really do have enough. I really do. I'm confident in my abilities this time. Wasn't before. Now I am. Got a lot of units stacked up towards Leningrad here, but I don't want to move in too many because I don't want to... You know, i got this little bottleneck to work with. I don't want to... mess things up. Alrighty. Is the Bismarck still hanging out over here? They go back. I don't remember where they went. I just hope that this holds and they don't screw something up. But they do have big stacks that they're just sitting on they, they got right to the ridge of the Caucasus Mountains. So they're just sitting at those high peaks now. Duking it out with the Soviet Union. I love it. Alright. Not speed five. This oh. Southern Rock All Bank. Fought, fought some of our subs. So the Americans are actually pretty good at that kind of thing. Oh, there they are. I oh, hear some more U-boats too. Yes. Look at that area the Americans defending. Chug, 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 chug. Game chugs when I when I log out like that. Vichy France. Is Vichy France our foe? Uh, Europe. Why is Vichy France not there? Do they not belong in Europe? So let's just go with... Can we just go all? And scroll to the bottom and try to find Vichy France? Why don't I see Vichy France? Oh, there they are. I'm just blind. Hmm. Declare war on them if I wanted to. I mean, Italy would take them out nice and nice and easy. Chug, chug, chug. Probably because there's so much going on is why it's... There, I mean, with Finland and all of the... the I'm going to call them the Southern Axis troops involved. There's a lot of things going on. Right, so you... Oh, this pan... This, this core is not attached. Not attached to anybody. So the second Panzer Army, which is right here. Well, I guess we do need. I guess we need it. So now we need an army for the uh, a leader for the second Panzer Army. We're gonna go with a high skill level guy, oh, Kempf. He looks good. Give him a promotion. And then you're gonna get attached to here's Group B. That's eh, yeah. That's that's fine. It's a small. It's a small group, but. Here we go. I was about to say, where is the commander here? This is the command structure. So in the south we have, well, a million men right up to there. And then it looks like one point, probably about 1.5 million up towards the top. I might end up doing a little bit of reorganization off screen just so it doesn't take up so much time. 
These will be done right at the end of December. Did we finish some planes? We did. Let's actually just put them somewhere further back until they're all organized up and then we can get them involved. I mean, so like, so you see that we've got these guys sitting here. These are the ones who are going to be punching on through. I mean, even if we just surround Moscow and take Leningrad in 42, that would leave not much to do in 43. Um, although, I mean, considering the gains we made in 41, which were massive, I mean, those were two huge assaults. And I mean, we, our line was here, and we pushed it to here in one campaigning season and killed like a million Soviet troops. What what is this? That's some just some, some horse transports. I must say, what is going on there? Four divisions there. Knock them off, because they can. All this all these troops moving around. Man, when are you gonna arrive? Ah, the winners are slowing them down now. That's probably what's going on. I'd like to get up to at least December 30th, though. Truck regiment deployed, so... Truck regiment? What the fuck? Half track? Oh, it's called... I guess it doesn't differentiate in the game as to what they're called. It just says truck. Scroll on down. Well, that knocked those off the production queue. Well, some of them. Three more are coming. Again, Armored Engineers and Mechanized. Mechanized are the most important thing. Those Mechanized troops are super important. Alright, they are moving. Good. Just moving slowly. Try to hold the line as thinly as possible while still... You know, still being safe. So that I have extra troops for my offensives. Why is this chugging so much? I mean, at speed 3, it's fine. Anything more than that, it gets a little angry. I got, where are my light troops? Let's move them up. Except for you. You stay back. <laughs> light troops are actually pretty good. Pretty experienced troops. There was, they, saw, they suffered heavy casualties, but they saw a lot of combat. Yes, I know. Can, can we go away? It's on auto hide for a reason, because I don't want it here. Apply, okay. There we go, I got rid of it. So you're there, you're there. I think these guys can all get knocked off, pulled off the line. Yep, right there. It's perfectly safe. It's just easier to figure out where everybody's going that way. That infrastructure will come off. Well, uh, well, a lot of it's going to finish on the on December thirtieth, so nine days. I actually like zooming out and watching the whole thing. You know, you know, it, bloop, all them all pop up on the the map at the same time. I love that. I don't know why. There's some more trucks finished. That's for these guys. Winter's a great time to reorganize. Twin engine airframe research. So light bomber, medium bomber, naval bomber, and flying boat prototypes. So if I went to prototypes, that unlocked... Oh, those are all 41s? Those prototypes are all 41s. Okay, so these are 41s. Let's get that up there. A lot of tech on the list now, but I'm fine with that. I mean, how many spy... I mean... Are we getting any into the Soviet Union right now? Two. If that is correct... And I'm not saying that it is. That would be astonishing. Do you guys think that's right? It's an estimate. and I mean, we only have two spies there. So, do you guys think that's right, that they only have 700,000 men left? If that if that's correct, 
I have... I have completely wrecked the Soviet Union. I mean, I hope these guys don't continue their attack and take a lot of losses during this... this period. Although it looks like they're actually making progress right through here. Were they that far before? Italy's making progress in Saudi Arabia. Alright, you're good. Let's grab these units, put them here. So this army's got this section of the front right here covered. And this army is the next one. Move them to Minsk. Move those guys out of Minsk. Maybe actually be attached to somebody. Oh, that guy right there, that's why he's there. Forgot about that. Attach. And you're gonna get attached to... Well, SS Pan Panzer Army? Is that correct? I don't think that's right. I don't think that's right. What's going on here? So... Waffen SS. That's who he needs to be attached to. This army right there. Why didn't that pop up? Did I just overlook it? Oh, it's right there. Waffen SS. There it is. So I got about 250,000 uh, men in the SS right now. The only reason I make them is because they're really good to have it at the front for rebel suppression, really. Having a round, all those units have suppression. They're a little bit more sturdy on the front lines. So it's nice to have them around. Can I pull all of you guys off yet? Yes, I can. See, how about right here? Hello, cat. Panzer Army Corps. Yeah, he, could, he needed that. Alright, nice. What do we got here? Surge of Volunteers. National man Manpower Modifier. Change of Neutrality. Officer Recruitment up. Is it research on Avionics? It's that one. Flying bomb is almost done, so we can pretty soon we'll be able to start building V1s. All right, you guys are covering that section right there. So the next section of the front to worry about is this one right here. We have a lot of SS troops here and a lot of Panzers sitting right there. So we can send this these guys right here up. Or we have any other we have more infantry right here. Let's see, it's this section of the front right here. So what we'll do is we'll take two units, and we'll go strategic redeployment. We'll take the other two units, strategic redeployment, and the Army Corps, and he'll sit right there. These guys will get, we'll pull these guys off. Right? No. No, we can't pull those guys off, but you can, you can come off the line. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff finished. Uh, some mercs. I don't know who to attach those to, but we'll throw them in. Now, the 50th SS Panzer Group, which is engineers and some panzers. I have no idea who I decided those were supposed to attach to, but we can pretty easily pop down the list here. Oh, it, you know what? It, it's qualified as a division because it's two units, so it's only going to show... Damn it. Well, let's put them right here. And look at the divisions and see who needs panzers and engineers. You. You need panzers and engineers. You need panzers and engineers. You do not. So either of those. So um, the Reich Division or the top uh, Tottenkopf. I'm going to go with Tottenkopf. They're going to get the panzers. That'll make them much more potent in battle. Much, 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 much more potent. We have these infantry units right here. We, we, well, we don't want to forget about four SS infantry, Waffen SS divisions. We can put those on the front line. Right near Moscow? I think that's a great idea. Look how close we are to Moscow. Seriously. I wonder, where are our medium bombers? 
They're all right here. We have an unused level 10 airbase nearby. Level 6. Level 8. That's close. Level 10. There we go. Redeploy. Redeploy closer to Moscow. I have an idea. Any good tech coming off soon? Flying bombs. Everything else is pretty far down. Well, actually, all that's coming. Commando training and desert training and stuff like that. Not terribly important to us at the moment. All right, December 30th is about to hit, so we're going to we're going to go Well, we're just going to zoom out like this. And boom, there it goes. You can see it's right through here. Which was just bumping up. And after you go to supply map mode, see the the yellow region is basically the area where we upgraded and it's, you know, it's it's working its way up. So that'll be able to hold more supplies soon. And if you see any yellow areas that are slashed like that, that means we're not moving enough supplies through them. So those are areas where the increased infrastructure is really going to help out a lot. Let's go to the production queue. So we got all this stuff coming. Um, a lot more infrastructure. Assault guns. Uh, Panzer Grenadiers. And it, oh, those are more upgrades. Assault guns. Uh, fighter bombers. Those are the carriers. Our schedule will be done for another year, and some motorized infantry. Those motorized infantry are really going to help out. They're going to do a huge difference, huge difference in terms of the combat fighting ability of our Panzer Divisions. So, I mean, we're doing pretty good. This is only the only region right here we need to fix up, because right here is fine. Right here we did. Yes, Norton, shut the hell. I thought I told you to shut your face. Uh, Silent Guns in December have, has ended. Soviet bombers, commando... Ooh, a commando mission. So, let's see. Our most recent missions. Strike enemy hurts. Wide variety of missions, sabotaging resources and war material stocks. Please note, due to the restrictions of the game engine, some tooltips for specific animations may not reflect the target country. Rest assured, a country hostile to your own will receive penalties. So, sabotage resources, facilities, black ops, local resistance. I mean... Resources, I understand. What's Black Ops do? Let's try that, cause, just because I don't know what it does. I know nothing of this mission, but uh, if you choose them, just remember I was never here. Destroy enlisted recruiting... Oh! Officer assassination. Senior officer... That's pretty cool. Training school. Or enlist... Uh, enli okay. So I believe this would this probably reduce manpower, reduce officers... Kill. Let's try that. Jacket green, Dromino. Operation underway, end of transmission. Minor success. Pearls in the river, operation success. We'll do better next time. So I'm assuming maybe we injured somebody? Economic spying. Political. Navy. Army. Hmm. Let's do army. Let's do... Let's see. Okay, what do we want for our national focus? Wehrmacht. Panzer. I've been doing Wehrmacht a lot because national manpower modifier 20%. But we can do Panzer or Luftwaffe. Economics. Plan Z. We do the... Panzer? Luftwaffe? Let's do Luftwaffe. Aircraft factories. Economic boost. Uh, Well, money is really high, so we could do... We can do short term. And what is this? We can do Estonia wants to join me. Interesting. That is very interesting. Okay, uh join the party. Estonia? Uh, I'm surprised so many countries have willingly joined me. I'm very surprised so many countries have willingly willingly joined me, without with little intervention from me. So that's set set and safe. And let's see. Feel like oh, are all these guys in place? Yeah, they are. 
So all these panzers could get pulled right off the line. Just like that. Panzer divisions are big. U.S. War Machine starts up. Yes, I knew that was going to be a thing. Rostock to Tallinn. Where, where's Rostock? Tallinn Express. Well, this is clearly one of those events. Did they capture something? I have no idea where Rostock is. Thought it was a naval base, though. So, Rostock to... Oh, up to Estonia. That's what that is. Permission to restore the Russian railroads, give permission. So that was the, uh, that increased infrastructure up this way. Supply throughput, 22%, very high popularity. Uh, we lost Rostock to Riga, but gained Rostock to Delin. What is this? Finnish volunteer group, yep. Save our money on those air bases, don't really need them. Alrighty, so... You guys are successfully taking up spots on the front. Let's, um, the next two. The next two we're gonna do with SS troops. Or we can do three with SS troops, probably pretty safely. Three provinces. Yeah, I, I believe in them. I have faith. I have faith in my troops. Brand new, untested, but strong. Very strong. You see all these units sitting here. These are all my tanks. Hanging out. Now these guys uh, can get added to the front too right up here. So we can move you guys up this way. And they can cover this section right there. And I would be very happy with it. Heavy snow and blizzards reported in Russia. Winter has come. Rename the Panzer Armies. Okay. The Atlantic Wall. Interesting. Coastline of Europe will, in coming months, be exposed to danger of enemy landings in force. The time and place of the landing operations will not be dictated to the enemy by operational considerations alone. Failure in other theaters of war, obligations to allies, political considerations may persuade him to take decisions which appear unlikely from a purely military point of view. Even enemy landings with limited objectives can interfere seriously with our own plans if the result if they result in the enemy gaining any kind of foothold on the coast. We can interrupt our coastal that can they can interrupt our coastal sea traffic. Pin down strong forces of an army and air force. I don't want to draw of critical importance. It would be particularly dangerous should the Emperor succeed in capturing the airfields or in establishing their own areas which are occupied. All right, so issue the directive, or no, there's no need. Q okay, all these guys will get hit. Hitler has uh, issues fear directive number forty event. So building the Atlantic Wall, I'm assuming. What we're going to need, because these guys, all the ports are strongly guarded. Eh, relatively strongly guarded. I mean, we could... Actually, let's look at something real quick. Garrison counts as militia, right? Right. So if we went to brigade strength, and we could do militia strength. Let's see. Militia, sea militia, garrison. Yeah, garrison goes up. I'd be fine with that. The other ones I have not taken, just because it's... Put a huge strain in Russia. Huge strain on the Russian supply network. All right, we're almost fully reorganized. And you can see all these cores down here. I, I have at least a full army that would be uh, prepared and ready for an assault. If not more. Because, well, here's some troops. There are more troops sitting around that could uh, be of assistance. Oh, look at that. I want to look at something. 34.4%. My god, have they done a great job. A great job. And there's that chug again. But we're going to have to end this episode right here anyway. Getting a little long new battlefield. Forward to victory. Officer recruitment I'm fine with. You know who... You know, uh, did we... Production... I don't remember. I, I seem to remember... Well, these are all pans new, new panzer divisions. Upgrading uh, for Straders Raiders. Hmm. I thought I added, added in some more heavy tanks somewhere along the line, but I think I forgot to. I was planning on it, at least. 
Because I had battle commanders that, you know, let's, uh, let's do that right now, real quick. So we have battle commanders, so that will take the place of a division headquarters, but we can still do half track. Uh, we're going to need heavy AA. We're going to need armored cars. We need tank destroyers. We need engineers. Where's armored engineers? Armored engineers. And then we're going to go, we're going to go heavy tanks. And we're going to need some mechs. Mechanized. Mechanized infantry. So that's got infantry. It's got tank. It's got recon. It's got mobile. It's got support. It's got assault. It's got direct fire, but doesn't have any artillery. So what can we take out here? Probably tank destroyer. Tank destroyers and throw in some arty. Can do that. Uh, do we have AA? Well, what's the what's their piercing attack right now? Have a piercing attack of thirty eight. If we took off the heavy AA, piercing attack of thirty. We threw on the tank destroyers, piercing attack of thirty still. Hmm. That piercing attack is so high. We can take off engineers and throw on Artie. That might be the ch that might be the ticket for me. Oh, I already have Artie on there. And then tank destroyer. Yeah, I think I like that. Two. <laughs> 98 IC. What would that knock off? A lot of stuff. And they wouldn't be ready for until July. Shame. Well, why don't we put one up there? So they don't knock off everything, but they knock off some stuff. Alright, so... Reorganized a little bit more. Made it up into January. Probably going to need one more episode of organizing the front, and then we'll speed through up until the next offensive. So, everybody, if you've enjoyed this episode, just drop me a like. Leave me those comments right down below. And if you're interested in more Benjamin Magnus Plays Hearts of Iron 3, just subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.